As the National Workplace Regulator for Health and Safety in the Construction Industry, we're urging employers and workers to take the necessary precautions today to protect their respiratory health. Occupational lung disease is preventable. We're working with a number of organisations within the sector to highlight the health risks if exposure to dust is not managed effectively. The Dust Kills campaign supports HSE's respiratory health inspection initiatives that are part of our wider strategic plan to broaden the range and depth of future regulatory health interventions. Construction workers in the UK are 100 times more likely to die from an occupational disease that was caused by exposure to dust generated in their work than a workplace accident. There were 40 fatal injuries to UK construction workers in 2019-2020. Now, each of these is an individual tragedy, not just to the worker, but also their friends, their family and other people who might be affected. But in the same industry, over the same period of time, there were an estimated 8,000 new reported incidents of occupational lung disease. Things like lung cancer, occupational asthma, fibrosis, all linked to exposures at work. And that's a tragedy on a much larger scale. However, all lung disease that is caused by exposures to dust in the construction industry is also 100% preventable. And that's why the BOHS, the Chartered Society for Worker Health Protection, is supporting the HSE's Dust Kills campaign. Hello, my name is Peter Crosland and I'm the National Civil Engineering Director for the Civil Engineering Contractors Association, otherwise known as SIGA. And we represent about 300 contractors involved in the delivery of about 80% of all the infrastructure across the UK. I should also say that I'm chairman of the HSC Tackling Ill Health Working Group, and therefore it gives me great pleasure for Seeker to be able to support the HSC Dust Kills campaign. So why is tackling respiratory ill health on construction sites so important to address today? And what is Seeker doing about it? Well, the simple answer is that construction workers still die every week from respiratory related illnesses brought on by their work. And this is clearly not acceptable in the 21st century. The reasons behind these ongoing fatalities are, I believe, quite complex, as no one intentionally sets out to cause harm to either themselves or others. But nevertheless, these illnesses are still occurring. Some of the possible reasons include lack of awareness of the legal duties of employers, lack of awareness of the damage dust can actually cause, Lack of time on projects to plan work properly, and that's both at the design stage and on site. And then there is a lack of money to provide appropriate RPE and PPE measures where appropriate. Hi, I'm Mary Cameron. I'm an occupational hygienist, a board member of the British Occupational Hygiene Society, and I'm here now representing the Construction Dust Partnership. Construction Dust Partnership is a firm supporter of the HSC's Dust Kills campaign. We share strongly in the motives of this campaign, which is to raise awareness amongst construction workers about the risks to their respiratory health from potential exposures to hazardous dust. The Dust Kills campaign provides advice for employers to reduce exposure to these hazardous dusts through good design and planning and having effective control measures in place, which is exactly what the Construction Dust Partnership also aims to do. Why is tackling respiratory ill health on construction sites so important to address today? Well, thousands of workers die each year from work-related lung diseases, and many suffer from severe long-term lung conditions as a result of their exposure to hazardous dusts at work. These diseases and deaths are entirely preventable. Everyone deserves to go to work and come home healthy. Tackling these diseases means contributing to the fight for worker health protection. And the Dust Kill Kills campaign is here to do exactly that. My name is Dylan Roberts and I'm the Director of Health, Safety, Wellbeing and Quality at Skanska UK. Here at Skanska we believe in a workplace which is safer, healthier and happier. Respiratory health is important to me for two reasons. One, I enjoy active sports and two, because I lost my father five years ago to lung cancer, which was caused by occupational health exposure. At Skanska, one of our values is care for life. It's also why I enjoy working in the job that I have. Ensuring everyone goes home healthy 
every day is a challenge, but one which cannot be compromised. I believe that education is key to safeguarding health. By raising awareness and people's understanding that dust kills is fundamental to preventing harm. Here at Skanska, we currently deliver a programme of upskilling our managers, supervisors and the workforce on the steps that can be taken to prevent dust being generated or people being exposed to the dust. I'd ask every one of you who are watching to think about how you can design out creating dust in the first place through changing the plan of work or changing the design. All of these factors can really help make a difference. We have some great examples here at Skanska where off-site manufacturing has resulted in the elimination of cutting activities on site. This means there is no silica dust generated and as an added bonus, there's no noise and no vibration. Many of our sites now have set up cutting stations and areas specifically designed for cutting activities, again, to prevent the spread of dust. Putting more focus on the design and getting it right first time isn't just good for your health, it's actually really good for business. It reduces rework and this often results in reduction in the cutting or modifying structures. I'm often impressed by our supply chain and how they're continuously innovating to reduce exposure. Using new technologies such as remote operating drilling and cutting machines, our sites are much healthier than they were and we have good site risk management. The challenge is for all of us to eliminate the generation of harmful dust in the first place. I hope that we're all up to it.